Incels believe in a strange cosmology where a male archetype named Chad talks to women with ease. Okay, kids. It's time! <laughs> what's up, you two? Hey, what's up, you two? <laughs> what's up, what's up, you two? <laughs> what's up, you two? What's up, you two? What's up, you two? <laughs> Look at Judy in the background just rocking. It looks like she's in one of those baby car seats or something. <laughs> Having a great day panic attack. <laughs> oh, you know, you know what? It kind of reminds me of those old gamer chairs they used to sell at like Target that were that you just put on the oh, floor. Oh yeah, yeah. You know those what I'm talking like, about? Really crappy <laughs> ones that were like, they were like thirty dollars or something. that were always on sale. Always, <laughs> yeah. in, always in the yeah. clearance section. They, they didn't have any legs. You just slap them on the ground. They had like audio outputs for headphones or something. I didn't. I don't know how that works. Oh, I remember that gimmick. They were like the ultimate gamer chair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Judy calls me last night. I'm like, yeah. Ooh, it's Judy. It's ghost girl. I'm telling you, it's ghost girl. He's really <laughs> cocky right now. Really? Look at him. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, oh, yeah, he's, he's really, you know, <laughs> showing off. Uh, yes, but on your not case, dear. Aha. Oh, I'll God, that was cringe. Oh. Maybe, no, I'll tell you, I'm gonna hang you upside down later. Oh. <laughs> it's like a retarded Joker in Harley Quinn. Put that on YouTube. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one in the other video, he's really, yeah. he's really feeling himself. Yeah. yeah, Judy's playing Need for Speed Carbon on the PS2. The worst game imaginable. <laughs> exactly. Me and me and my girlfriend were playing uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom on the PS2. Okay, uh, Mongoose, that that would be way more acceptable than what she's actually playing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they could do speed runs. That'd be awesome. I bet. I bet if uh, if she was a keeper, she'd know how to cruise. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. I bet. I bet Stephanie could cruise booth. Oh, Stephanie could 100% cruise boost. <laughs> That's why he was so sad about cheating on her. Oh yeah, it, it, it just broke him to pieces. You know, the funny thing is that most new fans don't understand is that he actually used to get pussy. He did. Uh, fairly, I, I don't know if I would say fairly often, but it wasn't a rare occurrence. You know, he'd go into a bar and, uh, you know, uh, Shut up the nice ladies, get them intoxicated, and bring them home. Some things in life that are worth having. <laughs> hey, I want to play some cookies. I mean, that's a lot of money. What? Yeah. Hey, skank, you like my tactical soap? That's what he would do now. He didn't have tactical soap back then. He was nerfed back then, and he was still getting more pussy. Dude, wait. Conspiracy theory. It's the soap that's not getting them laid. <laughs> it's the pheromones. Fuck, 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 duck, screw, kangaroo, bang, bang, orangutan, that's your local <laughs> I was reading the comments on this video, and I, I think I agree with most of them that said that she, like, just got through a time machine from 2011. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, this this was in 2015. There's no reason for her to be talking like that. <laughs> What's her excuse? That's that's like peak mall goth. The thing with Casper is they don't even have a goddamn mall. They have an outlet mall where, <laughs> where all the goths go. You know when you'd like go to like the thrift shop and like pick up a random VHS tape and like you have no idea what it is and you pop it on and it's just this. <laughs> that w I don't know how I would feel about that. I think I'd like probably report it to the police for like a kidnapping or something of a young child in the background. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, there's this man in Casper. He has a time machine and he stole a little girl from 2011. She keeps talking about Invader Zim. After Judy's first experience in one of Josh's videos, he then shortly uploaded a video a few hours later.
Uh, hey, YouTube. So, last video, I got a couple of comments saying, put her on camera, put her on camera. I just want to look and be on camera. I ain't gonna hog off the camera. Man. What the heck, you fucker? Lincoln Park shirt? <laughs> I see you. What up, people? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> the time and the place. We're on camera! And your point? You know, from like the 14 pixels that I can see of this, she doesn't look too bad. Surprisingly so. It's hard to tell with all the smoke in the room. It looks like they hotboxed the whole fucking apartment complex. We talked about how they probably potentially met, but how do you think that they lost contact? Because like she she only showed up once. I would imagine that it's I would imagine that it's like most people in Kobe's life where they're around for just enough time to notice that he's kind of like a, a complete weirdo. <laughs> I feel like that Cobes probably has a decent amount of charm when you first meet him. Like, oh yeah, he's just like a, he's an eccentric guy. And then once you get to know him a little bit more, it's like, oh, he's like this all the time. I'm Gert. Gert, cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Major Zim growing up. Oh, that's great. I really love this video. Um, and I haven't seen a, a, like a lot of people. Uh, cover it before but uh check out his bike though like that thing looks fucking deadly <laughs> yeah it, it was before he had the big ass handlebars that look so fucking stupid i can't imagine that's very comfortable to ride i get back to my apartment but uh right now i'm gonna hop on the uh, bike and do a cigar review when I get back to my place on the Summer Twist Swisher Sweets. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to Mills Smoke Shop. That's a long stretch of highway to ride. Dude, that fucking helmet that barely fits his fucking head, dude. <laughs> I love the big green tarred helmet. You can see him coming from a mile away. Yeah, he's got a little extra meat on him. Compared to how uh, skinny and less bloated he was back then, even, like, it, considering how he looks now, you would think that it's from, like, alcohol, bloating from alcohol and shit, but he's just always been kind of a big gourd head. I feel bad for his mother. Why can I? Oh my god, dude. Just imagine Josh squirting out of his mother, like, bouncing off the walls and shit, and the only thing that saved him was his peanut <laughs> head. Because it was aerodynamic. <laughs> that, that, yeah, there you go. He would've dragged too much. He would've burnt in the atmosphere. What is good, YouTube? There were the handlebars you were talking about. Yeah, those big ass handlebars. I want to wow. see Cobes. He should probably like go to a bar or something. Back then, he could have easily and like amass a group of Casper angels where they'd ride around in their big ass Harley <laughs> bicycles. Casper angels. <laughs> a the force Casper to be reckoned with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this was all the way back in two thousand and. Uh, 16. Let's see if we can get a good shot of his teeth. Uh, Riding okay. around on my Lamber feedies, you know what I mean? <laughs> I got my feedies on me. But, uh, all the way back in 2016, his teeth were definitely yellow, and, like, you can see the start of decay. Mm. And the and the plaque built up on, on the bottom. They're definitely better though. That looks like a pretty pretty average smoker's stain. Yeah. It's just people don't realize how fast shit can go wrong with your teeth. Oh, like, absolutely. It takes like, it can take months or weeks even, depending on your situation. 
Look at that collar he has on. That, that thing's really tight. It's tight. On. <laughs> yeah, it is. Bring the pain. Bring the pain. 69 degrees. <laughs> 69. <laughs> Teacher asked little Johnny what comes after 69. Little Johnny said, mouthwash. Mouthwash. M mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> Like most of his jokes, all old. <laughs> the new ones are a lot better. Yeah, you know, the Talking Tom bit that he went through for like three months. <laughs> that, like, yeah. that gave me cancer. <laughs> gave me <laughs> rectal cancer. I heard there was a horse who wanted to be a locksmith. His business was called Horse Locks and Keys. Do you remember any more? <laughs> I, never, I remember the other horse one. There were horses that wanted to be hockey players, but to play they needed horse puckies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't See, ask me what that means. I have no clue what that means. I disavow. If it, if it means something bad, I have no clue what it means. <laughs> See, that made me laugh because... Mongoose said it, but if he said it, I would have just turned off the video. Um, I don't know what it means. I, have I think no it's idea. so fucking funny because I, I can't imagine his thought process because he, he didn't get that joke from somewhere else. Because if he got it from somewhere else, it would make sense. It, it just isn't anything. The horse locks and keys one, especially, is just words. I'm gonna look that up, like whenever I'm editing this, and like put the info of what it actually means on the screen. If it does mean anything, <laughs> you're not gonna find anything. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna find something. All right. <laughs> yeah, if you know what I'm saying. His spit is always so sticky. He needs to fucking drink more water. I don't know if he's ever drank a cup of water in his whole life. He's never bought water. I, I can guarantee you that. Like, he's never bought water from a store. Yeah. Definitely, because you'd see bottles all over the place. Yeah, because I remember him, like, just waddling over to the sink and, and, and getting water, like, like way back, like, a few years ago. That was probably but, the last time he drank water. <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder how many kidney stones he has. Oh, he, he's had to have some if he doesn't drink water and he drinks Mountain Dew all day. Do you know that, like, sometimes they can actually, like, like build up and, and then, like, <laughs> explode? He's got a kidney your, stone dam. Yeah, your kidney. Like, you could unironically, like, burst your kidney by having too many kidney stones. That's fucked up. That's how if he's he going to die. If he hasn't passed any, then I would imagine that that is how he's going to die. He's going to die in his chair, drunk. That's just how it's going to go. <laughs> uh, and it's going to be badass. I mean, to be, that does sound kind of badass, you know? <laughs> like the Joker. <laughs> just exploding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey man, you got an extra cigarette by chance? <laughs> <laughs> Scoring freebies on the street, let's go. Yeah. Awesomeness, thanks man. Awesomeness. Who the fuck says that? Greatly appreciated, YouTube. Sweet. <laughs> YouTube, I gotta Morning, smoke you. you. Awesomeness. From a fan. Whoa. When he gave me the cigarette, he was like, Yeah, got the King Cobra, that's what's up. They said, of course I'll give you a cigarette. You smell so good. So, so good. <laughs> he's like a little... He, he's like in high... He's like in high school with that shit. Oh, oh yeah. I smell that chronic. Yeah. I <laughs> oh, smoke yeah. weed, too. Yeah, I smell... Someone smoking the Zaza, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Blinkerton City. <laughs> I'm in Blinker City, YouTube. Delta THC. 
What's up, YouTube? It's King Cobra JFS here, and I'm gonna do a drink combo in the gas station with Homeboy Drink Sky. combo in the gas station. Going to Blinker City. That's the name of the gas station for us, at least. <laughs> Making nachos in the bathroom so we don't gotta pay for them. That's what's up. I really wish that he would uh, ride his bike more. Or like just go out. Just go outside. Do yeah. fucking anything. Cause, like, that was the he, best content. He is so non-tense right now. Back in the day whenever he used to go to the gas stations or like do do food reviews in the actual restaurant Th those people are missing out the actual food reviews where, where he did it inside where, where you can hear people like laughing at him or like talking about yeah. him it's the best it's the best chilling content. out at taco john's yeah i love taco john's dude it's bomb hold on let's see if i can get up to him quickly Hi there. How you doing? Nice of you. To, hey, smile for the camera, baby. Thank you for being on my YouTube video. I greatly appreciate it. That was really oh, wholesome. Cool right there. Look at that. No. Huh. See, we How were just that? talking about the the potential good side, and here it is. Yeah, there you go. He he does say he has a way with animals, and he he does show a, a particular amount of compassion towards animals that he doesn't really show towards anyone else, really, including himself. Dobby doo, he's a doo doo dog. I'm gonna feed him Mountain Dew because he's addicted to math. I don't know much about deer. I'm pretty sure that these deer are like somewhat used to humans, um, since it's like a yeah, probably. hick shitville. But d just imagine right. if that was a buck and they just charged him <laughs> on the bike. <laughs> oh, he's like, oh, YouTube, YouTube. This is not. Oh, what's YouTube. Up. <laughs> this is most definitely not what's up, YouTube. What the hell is he doing? He what the heck? <laughs> what he's scooting along. <laughs> It looks like he's riding a horse. <laughs> he clop de clop, clip de clop. <laughs> hey, Bucko, you're not from around here, are you? He's a professional when it comes to his job. He's very good at finding things, collecting things, and making his way on the land. It doesn't take much for him, and he knows how to get the job done. It, it's a perfect, it's a perfect intro. There's literally like, I can't think of a video that that's a better intro for a person than the smell of the open road video. Cobra makes me laugh, but it's mostly just you making me laugh, right? But <laughs> yeah. like, Fed actually just makes me laugh. Like he just. Yeah. Like, uh, he, I feel like if it, I, I've said this before, but Fed Smoker is Josh. If Josh was like, uh, if he was born like maybe twenty years later. This is Fed Smoker, also known as Connell Peterson. He's a real American patriot. He has the spirit of the original people that came here and founded the country. Hates the government, lives off the land, and knows what to do in any given situation. The red, the white, and the blue. It's for you folks. After the red flash, 
see what's behind me going by. He hates baby grapers, he hates cops, and especially baby grapers. Mongoose, you already messed up. They're not cops. They're oh, pigs. yeah, they're pigs. Yeah. Yeah, they're pigs. Yeah. Fuck the pigs. And the it's way that he films, it it looks like somebody else is recording him. Even though he's recording himself, it looks like that, like, it, it, there's yeah. like cinematic purpose <laughs> in what he's showing. Because at first it shows, like, a little bit of his face and a little bit of his body, and he, has, he doesn't have a shirt on. You get an, you get an idea immediately who <laughs> Fed Smoker is when you see this video. Nope. And then, and then you see the streets around him, you see his makeshift car, and you see his dog in the, ba- in the background. It introduces every little element, like, in a perfect pacing. Does come the white though, folks. Never you forget it. I ask God to give me this. The red, white, and blue. Mm. Looks red enough for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that time. Though it's silver is continuing to be white, folks. With the creamy gray. Oh, don't you doubt these cars? Not only black, but it is silver. <laughs> and the funniest thing about this is that, is that I'd bet that he's parked near a police station. I, be- I- <laughs> Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I bet the police station is down the block. Americans, I just thought I'd show you the effectiveness of uh, super glue. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking moron. I, 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 I can't imagine anything more badass than getting stabbed or, like, jabbing yourself or cutting yourself and then walking into a Walmart, buying a tube of super glue and just gluing yourself back up. Oh, he 100% had that super glue on deck. <laughs> <laughs> it's an uh, essential part of repair, not for the car, but for himself. If you ever cut yourself, kids, you're leaking... I never thought that I would like see glue mixed with blood, and then it would hear it, and and then it would harden due to the glue and the and how cold it is. It, it's insane. Mm. It's you have the blood congealing like a, a good food combo, and then you got the super glue hardening to make like a, a an icicle of yeah. pure fed smoker DNA. I love this. I love the phone. <laughs> this angle of his head <laughs> looks fucking great. What's going on, brother? Working. Is this you, Randy? It is. Hey, listen. Uh, you got time to visit for a minute? Yeah, I got a minute for you. Yeah. Hey, listen. I I don't mean to keep calling, but we do got a Mexican <laughs> uh, with a badge. It's getting kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, you know, a typical like, occurrence, Mexicans and badges um, going a little cuckoo. Called you happens. yesterday, right, Randy? He Told just you about him. I'm sorry that he's <laughs> like that. And the next thing I know, uh, I'm barely <laughs> off the phone with you, and here he comes. Now that... Come by your drive by your house, huh? Uh, come by what? Drive by your house or something. Huh? Yeah, by my car. Uh, listen, I, I uh, know it's a broken record. Uh, a rerun. The next cop going down, okay, brother? What does this guy do? Oh, this one here is real bad. Uh, let's just say he's, uh, we don't know what he's done, but he's sure hanging out around my dear car. <laughs> uh, he, I went in to get a, uh, he had a couple Mexicans drive by my car. I went in to complain about him. He refused me a complaint for him, so that's what he did. Uh, oh, that's, he can't refuse the complaint. Yeah, he refused me a complaint for him. Said if I go back into the uh, police station, he'll have me arrested. Said I'm not wanted there anymore. So we got beaners that don't know the fucking law there, Walter. That's what he did wrong. Beaners. Uh, you guys hiring? 
Huh? So, for those that are a little bit confused, whenever Fed Smoker would go into a town or a, a Providence or whatever, he would always go to the police station and basically kind of let them know that he's in town. And and, and basically, he kind of lets them know that he's, he's going to be a nuisance, he's going to annoy them, without actually saying that. Most police stations actually are used to these kinds of people. He just drifts in his car from town to town and basically causes mayhem for the whole city. Fed Smoker is the ultimate menace to society. The skull emblem on his uh, steering wheel looks like the skull on uh, Josh's cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah, it does. He scalped it from him. He took it as a trophy after he ran him over. Saw him biking around. So yeah, just uh, be on the way. Oh my god, dude. Just imagine if they like ever crossed paths. That would be... That would be probably one of the best combinations in the world. Probably unmatched. Fed Smoker's car, just like, yeah! Just like fucking <laughs> zooming past them. Get in, loser! We're roasting some pigs. <laughs> That's most definitely what's up. Hell yeah, brother. You got any cigarettes? I do too. Let me talk to the sheriff when he gets in. What time is he coming in? He said he'll talk to you on the weekend. So. Yeah, well, I'll talk to him anytime I fucking want there. Okay, Randy? <laughs> okay, tighten up. So, for those that haven't realized, uh, Fed Smoker would basically just go to random abandoned lots that he would find or like you know little little spaces and uh do an extreme amount of drugs in his car <laughs> if you haven't caught on yet and then he would cut <laughs> and then he would <laughs> cause mayhem no there's there's auditors out there that go around and talk to cops but then there's fed smoker he knows every single person in the police station he knows exactly what they're doing first and last names badge numbers <laughs> How many tickets they've given him, everything. Oh, He's got it all memorized. That's Steel the, trap brain. That's the amazing thing that we haven't mentioned. He will remember all of their names. Like, he will. Like, he will talk to every single police officer in the county that he's in. <laughs> like, 100%. And, and he goes back and he remembers them, too. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> that's yeah. the crazy thing. Yeah, he does. It's, it's crazy. It's, <laughs> yeah. It, and I, I have seen videos where he has, like, Videos like this where he just has exchanges with the cops where he's just chatting with them. Yeah, I mean, like like I said before, I think he, like, kind of just likes them. Because, like, they're the only people that he, that, that he talks to more than anyone. Right. He, I know there's, like, an aspect of him trying to, like, he's putting his balls on the table, he's asserting his dominance, and he's not afraid. He's not afraid of the cops, you know? Yeah. Most people put their head down and just mind their own business, especially if they were looking suspicious and getting tickets and shit. Yeah. But, like, Fed just talking. He's going up to him. He's like, hey, it's me. It's me, Fed Smoker. I'm coming to tell you baby grapers what's good. I'm telling you pigs what's going on. And you, you know what? You know what? What's your name, uh, Billy? Hey, Billy, let me tell you what. I will not take any of your bullshit, Billy. <laughs> me and the babes. I'm looking for babes, cruising for babes, Billy. And let me tell you what. You baby graper <laughs> pigs will not stop me. <laughs> from getting any babes you can't give me a ticket it's not illegal to find babes why did i what if you ask him not... hi my name is george ferguson yeah what do you want i want you to understand what the question was what's the, what's the question retard <laughs> <laughs> no, you i don't even want to talk to you don't get the fuck away from me <laughs> and the dog's sitting there not doing a fucking thing, retard, except drinking his fucking water and eating. Hey, you want me to call him for you, motherfucker? <laughs> call oh. him up, buddy. He has no <laughs> oh, he would love to do that. Shit. He would love to call the <laughs> cops right now. He has no idea who he's soul, dealing okay, with. This old man has been through, like, fucking Vietnam, fucking, like, World War II, whatever the fuck. But he's in for a whole world of hurt. I got a half foot tall and I didn't want this dog to step on it, okay? Fair enough. Okay? Don't call me 
start again. Uh, don't even talk to me again, dude. Okay? You hope I don't. Oh, yeah, don't you threaten me, you bitch. I'm not threatening you. I'm just saying you. Don't you ever threaten me. I put cops in prison, you dumb motherfucker. Okay? Why don't you ask him about that, cocksucker? Why don't you just get the fuck... You know what? I'm going to call him, okay? Good. Let's get him down here. I'll bet you don't stick around until they get here. I'll bet you don't. I'll bet you don't. Huh? I'll bet you don't stick around. You need to go to prison, you dumb fucker. Bud, did you call him? Let's get him down here, buddy. You're a fine example of taxpayers' dollars at waste there, buddy. Bud. Bud. Oh, bud. Oh, bud. Very good dog. Very good dog. Very good. I've had just about enough of this shit. You tell Kenneth Frank, I want this fucking bathroom fixed back to normal. I want this fucking wall of a tree to fall down on kids' heads fixed. I want this fucking bathroom cleaned up, okay, buddy? Thanks, buddy. You're doing a good job, man. This place is a mess. <laughs> Thank you, I Mingo. can't imagine what that guy feels like this right is now. A mess. <laughs> He's on fucking red <laughs> alert. I'd be fucking horrified if I was a kid. Come out of there. Look at this dumbass gangster bullshit. This is what comes with illegal aliens working here. In this country. Thank you, amigo. Stimmers like that bullshit. Fuckers don't know how to read. Don't know how to speak, they know how to write shit on everything now. That's fucking Latino shit. And this is my beach that I gotta protect. I want them bathrooms fixed back to normal. This town's not gonna put up with it, Kenneth. And neither am I. And you can always find Peggy drunk off her ass. Drinking and drinking, drinking, drinking right next to the playground. Drinky, 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 drinky. She don't care, cops. She drinks right here, right next to the kids' playground, so they can watch her be a drunk. Calling the cops on your dumb. Good, good. Better move I can't out. wait. Oh, yeah. Now <laughs> I remember. He had a real problem with all of the vandalization that Laguna Beach was going through. Due to the gangs there. These little kids today. And now they're writing gang shit on the fucking ceiling. I guess we can't talk about a fed smoker. Unless if we mention the fact that he passed away. February 9th, 2020. At, at the ripe age of 52. On Route 95. Which is just kind of badass. I mean... Absolutely. He, he he went out he went out fast and he went out hard and that's exactly how Fed Smoker lived his whole life. He wouldn't have wanted to die slowly in a hospital or sitting around on a bed, slowly withering away. He just went out the Fed Smoker way on his own terms. He didn't follow Proto. Ta ta man, retard. When you're better than brother. Now let's pick up the pace, brother! Come on! You know, Fed Smoker's the most hated motherfucker in America. I do ruin pigs' lives. Kill you know, goddamn Uncle Sam this fucking food cards for cigarettes and booze. Because it's for me. It's all about me. They ain't answering their phone these days, Americans. That's because they know it's dangerous to speak with me. They just hung up. You won't do too fucking good. You get stupid. They can't even speak. They can't even say hello. You know why? Because I'll fuck you. Every one of you. Snowman stealing poker, Americans. God's got his way of dealing with fungus among us. Fire! Die, bitches. You 
you fucking understand me? Feel it. They're coming. And so am I. As far as I can see, the Americans have chopped it really fucking well. They wanted to fuck me up the first. Then I told them I was doing a foot up. Stay patrol, Americans. No one wants to fuck with that fucking crew. <laughs> no, they don't. Not the top werewolf either.